Hi guys, this is Shalini and I am back to you with another video. Today my topic is metabolic acidosis. If you like the video and the content, kindly do like, share and subscribe. Also let me know your comments in the comment box. So let's get started. Metabolic acidosis, this in layman term just means that there is too much acid or not enough base. Now I have given you the reference values of pH and HCO3- or bicarbonate. So pH is 7.35 to 4.5, the average is taken as 7.4. So if the pH is less than 7.4, we say it is acidosis. If it is more than 7.4, we say it is alkalosis. And bicarb, the reference value is 22 to 26 milliequivalents per liter. And when we say it is metabolic acidosis, as I have told you, much acid, not enough base. So the pH reduces and also the base, that is the bicarbonate, reduces. This is a very common acid-based mnemonic called as ROM, which is used in the interpretation of ABG to identify the acid-base imbalances. So ROM, which means respiratory opposite metabolic equal. So first thing is, if you're looking at the respiratory component, meaning you're looking at PCO2, and if it is metabolic, you are looking at bicarbonate or HCO3. And the second thing I want you to remember is, if it is respiratory, it is opposites. That means the direction of the defect is opposite. If pH is increasing, PCO2 decreases. And if pH is decreasing, PCO2 increases. On the other hand, if it is metabolic, it is equal. That means if pH increases, bicarb increases. If pH decreases, bicarb also decreases. These are some important points pertaining to metabolic acidosis. The first thing is, the base or the bicarbonate is secreted by the gastrointestinal tract. For example, in some cases where the blood becomes acidic, the work of the body is then to conserve the base to make sure that it maintains the balance. So whenever we say metabolic acidosis, the first buffer system all of you must remember is the kidneys. So what the kidney does is whenever the blood becomes more acidic, the kidney will try to conserve the base. That means the bicarbonate is reabsorbed back or there is excess secretion of the uh, hydrogen ions. A hydrogen ions is excreted out of the body. This is to maintain the balance. Now, in some cases like CKD or re renal failure, where the kidney is not able to take up this regulatory mechanism, lungs will take up the compensatory mechanism and this is by breathing out the excess carbon dioxide, which is again a kind of acid and when that is taken out of the body, it will try to maintain the balance. Now, you also have to remember it is important for us to understand that respiratory compensation alone cannot correct the pH. That means after the compensation also, the blood might be slightly acidotic. So technically when you look at it as I have told you when the direction of the defect is same it is metabolic. So if the pH and the HCO3 falls down together we say it is metabolic acidosis and in compensation what happens is the PCO2 is also let out of the body that means the PCO2 reduces. So when all three reduces we say it is partial compensation but when the pH is brought back to normal, that means because of the compensation that is happening inside the body or because of any other supportive therapy that you give to the patient, if you are able to bring back the pH to normal within this reference value, that is between 7.35 to 4.5, we say it is full compensation. So what are the causes of metabolic acidosis? There can be only two causes. One, there is excess production of acid. Second is there is loss of base or the bicarbonate. Now, what are the conditions which will cause this? So, excess acid production, for example, DKA, that is diabetic ketoacidosis. Loss of base, as in case of CKD, use of diuretic, uh, diuretics like acetazolamide. In uh, GI, we can see diarrhea, fistula and ileus. So, there can be many conditions. I have just listed a few for you. Clinical manifestation, so the clinical manifestation will depend upon the underlying cause. So as I told you, metabolic acidosis is usually a manifestation of some other disease. For example, DKA, severe diarrhea, renal shock or renal failure, things like that. So the common manifestations that you see in the patients is headache, increased pressures, hyperkalemia, muscle twitching, warm or flushed skin, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, change in the consciousness, Cosmol's respiration, this, these are uh, the varied 
symptoms that you will see in a patient with metabolic acidosis where the ability of the kidney to excrete the acid or conserve the base is reduced. The treatment of metabolic acidosis as such first thing is you have to treat the underlying cause and then you can go ahead giving bicarbonate intravenously. So the formula is 0.5 into weight of the patient in kg into 24 minus the serum bicarbonate levels. So in moderate cases we go ahead giving 50 to 100 milli equivalents of bicarbonate in 1000 ml of 5 percentage dextrose and in severe cases we also give 90 to 180 milli equivalents of bicarbonate in 1000 ml of 5 percentage dextrose. Time for a quick recap. So, I will tell you a scenario and we will together see how to interpret the ABG. For example, we have a 74 year old lady who is a known case of CKD and presents to us with decreased urine output over the last two days with complaints of vomiting and has got generalized edema. The ABJ result shows that her pH is 7.15, PaO2 is 60 mm of Hg, PaCO2 is 25 mm of Hg and bicarbonate is 20 milli equivalents per liter. So in the present scenario, the pH is less, the HCO3 is also less, so here the defect is in the same direction which shows it is metabolic and at the same time the pH is less than 7.45 which shows it is acidosis so the answer is metabolic acidosis. Now we will have to check if there is compensation happening or not. So for compensation to happen the carbon dioxide has to be let out of the body and so the value of the carbon dioxide should be reduced. So the reference value is 35 to 45 but in the current ABG it is 25 that means it is reduced. So we say it is partially compensated metabolic acidosis. We cannot say it is fully compensated because still the reference pH value is not back to normal. So we say it is partially compensated metabolic acidosis. Thank you. I hope the video was useful to each of you. Kindly let me know your comments, clarifications and doubts in the comment box. Otherwise, thank you and have a nice day.